For the first time on CW, Fog Wrestling, I'm going to bring you the NXT results. We didn't bother watching this show because you know what? There was nothing on it that interests this. All right, we've got a problem with that. Leave it down below. But it was the 22nd of October 2024 edition of said show. It was actually the go home show for Halloween Havoc. So uh, let's, let's get into some Havoc conversations here. Halloween, obviously, next week. Um, Ethan Page, Trick Williams, does nothing for me. We've seen it four or five months ago. I didn't expect to see it in October in November, but we do begin our first match. Damage Control are here, um, obviously off the back of some controversy on Raw, which, um, of course, the Carlito segment, which I had someone comment on that video and was like, how is this even news? Are you actually a wrestling channel? Well, I'll let you know. I'll have respond to this right now. How is it not news? Everybody on Twitter is having a meltdown. Over this, over this Carlito comment, and then asking, "Are you actually a wrestling channel?" Well, what, what else are we? I know, I know, you guys are into gymnastics, but we're into professional wrestling. All right, sports entertainment. So, reel that in. But uh, metaphor, pick up the victory in this match. There's an awful interference. I mean, I seen the clip of it. Piper Niven pulling Jackson out the ring, but she bounced off the ropes one too many times, and it just looked very. F- very botchy. Chelsea Green hits the, the zigzag and boom, Green flying cross body, bang bang, metaphor, pick up the victory. But I, I don't know, I thought this, I thought Piper Niven sucks, man. It's so funny how people pretend it because Vince McMahon gave her the name Dewdrop, that ruined her. But going back to Piper Niven's the making of her. We then see NX, NXT NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Cole Custer. Arrive to the WWE Performance Center. I'm not a fan of NASCAR, but obviously in the States it's pretty big. So if this guy can pop a rating, um, who, who knows? We then get NXT announcement that they're heading to the historic ECW arena on November 6th. But we've already covered that. Of course, November 6th, that's when they're going head to head with Dynamite again. One side will falter in the ratings. Who will it be? And um, we then have Jada Parker against Tatum. Paxley, Jaden Parker wins. Wendy Chu came out and then battered Paxley and brings her to the backstage area. Brilliant. Ho ho. Incredible stuff. Incredible. Lexus King tells Charlie Dempsey that he wants a shot at the NXT Heritage Cup. It's just fucking garbage, man. But then next week it's announced on the CW network that Seth Rollins will be a special guest on Inside the NFL. <clears throat> Why? I mean, inside the NFL seems like a behind-the-scenes thing of the NFL. What is Seth Rollins adding to that? Like, wh- you know what I mean? I-, I don't really understand that. What Seth Rollins is bringing to the table and why they would act- why they would actually want him. So, to me, um, it's kind of funny. But anyway, I mean, it, it would not be better for them if he could actually appear on NXT. Who knows? Maybe. Stephanie Fakir and Julia... Have a segment. I can only imagine how bad this was. I have conquered Europe, Japan, South America, and Mexico. Not only that, but I also collect the championship all over the world. I have proven I am made of fire. It doesn't matter how many heads I have to, to crush. My goal going to WWE. Gilia then said, Stephanie and I first met in Japan, standing across the ring from each other. In that ring, there are no friends, there is no alliance. But after that match, we became friends. Coming to WWE NXT, I've learned how different it is here. I know the only person I could trust is someone who hits as hard as I do. And so always got the same goal in mind. We don't have championships around our waist. But once we finish Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez at Halloween Havoc, we will be on our way. To me, it's a garbage match. It's like these two come in. They don't really know what they're doing with them. So they just put them in a tag team. And I think, right, I mean, we had someone comment in our fed that these two are megastars. So let's say these two are megastars, right? Why are they in NXT? Why are they in a shitey tag team in NXT? If these two were megastars, they'd be on the main roster. It's as simple as that. If you're a megastar, you do not hang around on NXT. And you know what? If you're a megastar, chances are in 2024, you are well clear of wrestling. Put it that way. Megastar. Why they're megastars. You know what I mean? With their 600,000 viewers on the CW network. Megastars. Fuck off, man. 
That is absolutely pathetic. Turn around and say that. Obafemi defeats Luca Crosafino. Aye, that was brilliant. Andre Chasen has a vignette. Who cares? Trick Williams and Ethan Page have a promo. Um, this went incredibly long. Who really? I mean, I'm, I, 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 I mean, I could scan through it, but I mean, I mean, I'm looking through it. What do you think, there, dog? Then you've got Ethan Page probably born to death. Oh, it took me 17 years to win a trophy in WWE. I mean, Ethan Page must be approaching 40, man. The guy's amounted to nothing in his career. And then what's weird is that Trick Williams, it just ends with him saying, well, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, he's looking forward to the match. Well, it's good one person is, because I'm not. Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez then cut like a 10-second promo about two lines. It's like, yeah... Great idea. Give the non-English speakers the mic and give them longer time than the two people that can actually cut promos and in English. <laughs> Sean Michaels and his wonky eye are cooking. Sol Ruka defeated Carmen Petrovic. Hank Walker and Tank Ledger defeated OTM. Um, then we had our sixth match of the night, which was... Julia and Stephanie Fikir against Fatal Influence. Now, this was a better tag team match. I've seen a clip of this. This was a better tag team match than the opener, but it wouldn't be hard. But again, it's just... I don't know. I, I, this is just absolute shite. These two, man. I mean, the people trying to pretend that they're megastars. It, it's just not going to work. WRB is obviously... Or NXT, Shawn Michaels, right? Two megastars. We'll see after... Halloween Havoc when this wee tag team run comes to an end which one of the two are they going to push then that's how you'll know who they favour and then someone called Saria appears on the stage is that, is that, is that a third megastar well if these three are megastars and they're appearing in a segment at the end of NXT I'm fully expecting this to pop like 10 million in the fewer three megastars at the end of NXT man where else would you get it where else would you get it anyway guys leave your first down below this is fucking hot garbage, man. They'll try when they try and need to sell it in an arena in a city, you know, when they're going head-to-head -head with Dynamite, but this is why wrestling's shite.